Let's graph this function by degree first. We're going to have a negative x squared for our dominating term. We'll have a negative x cubed and then another x. Well, a negative cubed is still negative, so negative, negative make a positive. And our, our power of x, we have a squared and a cubed, that makes x to the fifth. Another x is x to the sixth. So our degree is 6, and it's even. So our end behavior, since our coefficient is positive, will be up both left and right. Okay, x-intercept. This is already factored, so let's see what makes each factor 0. Uh, 0 makes x squared 0, so we have 0, 0. 1 makes this factor 0. And negative 2 makes that factor 0. Now our y-intercept, you plug in 0 for x, which we actually already did. So we're going to have that as 0, 0. Let's start with that. And that will help guide us to know which additional points we should use. Okay, let's graph our intercepts. Okay, now our end behavior is up at both ends. So I know that somewhere I'm going to be going up, which means I'm going to come down this way to the intercept at 1. Now I ask myself, am I going to cross or touch at this intercept? Well, let's look at the multiplicity of this factor. It's a 3, which is odd. That means that it's going to change sign as we pass through 1. So I'm going to cross. Now I've got to go up to 0. That's my next intercept. Now I've got to ask myself, do I touch or cross at 0? Well, my multiplicity is 2. So I'm just going to touch. Got to go back down. And then uh, I have to go up and get to the negative 2 next. Do I touch or cross? The multiplicity it's 1, which means since it's odd, I'm going to cross and I go back up. Now this is a rough draft. I need some intermediate points to help me make it more accurate. Some additional points to plot would be ones that help us fill in how far down we go and how steeply this is rising on the end. So maybe two, um, a half, a negative one, and a negative three would be good to try. So plug those in and we're going to get 16, negative 5, 30 seconds, negative 8, and this one is just, it's really big, it's off the graph. So let's make a final draft. Have our intercepts again. Okay, 2 is clear up at 16. So that just tells us it's really steep. If you wanted to be more precise, you could put in 1.5. Now 1 half is 5.30 seconds, which is not very far down. So we're going to go like that. Uh, negative 1, we're going down to negative 8. So this goes down quite quickly. And negative 3 is really, really big. So we're going up quite steeply. Now it looks like negative 8 is the minimum of this function and that negative 5 30 seconds is a local minimum. They might not be. You'll find out how to exactly find the minimum and maximums when you take calculus. This is just a rough idea.